to the ride, partner. You all right, girl? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. This is still chapter four. I believe this is part five. Let's get it going. We paid all our warrants and our bounties and all that good stuff. We cleaned all our weapons and they're ready to go. And uh, we did some hunting, got a cougar skin on the back of the Lord. I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Yep. Somebody help me. Gavin? I'll help you in a little bit, sir. I'm just going to you know, collect the debt and then I got to trade in this skin. Okay. Last family. I'm on the sun. a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. You remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. You got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. 
Ah, uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on, let's get us that debt. Someone's here, boy. Oh, wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there, go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy, just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Mm. Now where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, mister. It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Come take it. It's right here. on the wall, I don't know. I don't want another beating. Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son. You should be proud of yourself. That's it, I told you. Well, at least you got the money now. Head on over here and pay the money and see whoever this is. And try get some proper rest, some proper ammo fill up, all that good proper stuff. Okay, my girl.
Weapons that I do not want beneath this leg. I have two Lancaster repeaters that I only want one. I think I just picked up a second double barrel shotgun, and I only need one. And our cores look so well. I'm not sure, you know, right in the front damn door. I want to talk to you. Around the back. <laughs> the voider. I am not trying to touch that voider. Walk in the camp. Hey, Arthur. I go right here. Watch that was supposed to be really expensive. I stuff when he was calling a really expensive one. That was more than me. Now we're going to look at the ledger. Looks like food, pavilion, everything is good. I guess all we got to do now is just restart.
right now. Where are my spurs already? I don't have any gloves on. a chance to get up, turn my lights on, and grab something to drink. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go see this city outlet. She's up to a new outfit on, so people will recognize it. How about that impression? Like a well known bounty hunter, a well known gunsmith.
supposed to be coming through the door. How you doing, Mrs. Edler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I mean, my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. He'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. <laughs> what is that? What the hell have they done to me? Oh, Look, man. Hey, in the tree line. Everybody take cover! The Driscoll boys are coming! Fall back to the house! 
I keep getting shot by the one fucker I don't see until it's too late. took medicine to keep me from getting hurt. What is going on with this? windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door. There. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Do that! Everyone accounted for! I think! Hey! 
I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't know. I think. There must be that for something. Driscoll here. Trying to rescue the bitch. Come on, man. <sighs> That's Mrs. Adler. She's still out there. Up for me. Time she was back here somewhere. Fuck! Sadie, I gotta go help. Government! Who's this lady here? Dutch always has Sadie? a this for women. Sadie! this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. 
We need you in the house, Mrs. Sandra. Oh, no, we don't. Poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. I don't want to go to the trolley station right now. That's messed up. Dude used to be in a drift scope. We rest we basically kidnapped him, tortured him, turned him to one of us, then treated him okay. He saved my life. Driscoll's capture him back. He saved my life. Him to find out where we are, and they cut his head off and sent him to Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. Uh, she is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. He's always running that game. Oh, a lot of shit. Gotta meet uh, the Native American dude up here. And everything else is uh, back in denial. Everything before we do the touch stuff. Like that, I think I might. How you doing? I gotta buy everything again. Arm because uh -huh, I just rearmed. Touch. 
in here with you wild people. That ass outfit though. Did I hate the tribute? Damn it. I meant Ledger. Uh, no, I'm not doing you on no more. How you doing? Ledger, Ledger. Not the best. Yep. When it rains, it pours. One hell of a shootout. I was using everything in my six shooter. Am I crazy? I can fast travel from here. I throw knives this time and everything. We can't take nothing else. I gotta restock this whole place. Shut up, lady. Lord, I can't go through this door, that's right. everything I just took. Back to good, I'm back to stock, everybody's back to happy. And we can fast travel just from my room. Had that for the first time. But I paid for that. Works. I'm nowhere near a train station. Go back to Braithwaite Manor, which is free, Colony Hall, Cornwall, Kerosene and Tar, Ranch, Rose, I Strawberry Valentine, and Horn Trading Post. Oh, so we go to the trading post from here now. That's going to be awesome. No more riding around the world trying to find the trading man. Take a bit of chance to smoke on some of this bowl here. Very unfortunate for me, I have a tail end of a house that ain't doing me no good. I've been smoking, 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 and I'm not getting no higher. And about you can tell I'm sober because I get real quiet when I'm sober. You can tell these last couple of streams. I'm going down to a uh, deck and poem. Another $50 house. Let's see if I can grab because they had a commercial out. They had a couple of uh, $9 grams of oil. I'm going to see if I can pick one of those up, see what they're like. I might just pick up uh, five dollars worth of balls. That'd be what nine times five, forty-five. Uh, maybe I'll just get five different balls later in the month. I'll go later in the month or next month. I'll go and get a fifty-dollar gram. Fifty-dollar gram. 
down to the ground. You almost killed me. Are you slow? Bonjour. <clears throat> I must be passing you because I didn't kill you and I didn't run up to you. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll watch! Don't hurt him, please! He just had to go Like he ran down the street and I busted up in the alley. Oh, look out the doorway. You little bastards! Oh. Oh, where'd he go? You alright? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Me. Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about it. Hey, that. you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. Some company, mister? No. That's her. You sure? Hey. What? I know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, I, hey, help. I, well, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. <sighs> Oh, down. Oh, shit, there's a cop right up there. So, how are things going? God, no. Whoa! place for hillbillies like you in town no more. Right. Right about that. And down, that damn, uh, Diane down, broad. Like that, oh. She knows who I am, well, Hello, sir. she knows I'm a debt collector, but I don't know if she knows my name. I see these cops are still red on the radar, so I don't really want to run into them. I want to give this lady back her cross. Mm -hmm. Got a cop on the corner? Hello. When I was younger, 
Those challenges used to frustrate me. Mr. Morgan! Uh, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! No, oh, I did. Oh, <coughs> I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... Greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins. Hey, see, Father. As then, is there still good in the world? Oh, you know, as if she done told somebody something. Hey, tell nobody none. You don't know me like that, baby. This is... That's going on. I heard what you heard. We did a riverboat. We did a couple of train hides. Riverboat casino hides. Uh... A home invasion, basically, hides. But he's right here. Oh, this is that one pinker guy that we like. On the other side. Follow the banging on the door, I guess. You're a dead man! <laughs> so much for the new world! <laughs> <laughs> One punch! Bow! Laid him out! I know why I did that. Because Evil. barbarity is poor, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Oh, well, there's that. Out in the alley, or some dude I just knocked out in one punch. <laughs> that's the definition of sucker punch because he was a sucker, he got punched, and now he's taking a nap. <laughs> So here's what we're gonna do. Man, it's Valentine. Had to give us a chance to give us a chance to pay our bounty off. That explain why the cops are looking at me. Excuse me. Oh, well, I can probably run and get there faster. Look where you're going. Oh, dude, this nicely dressed in a city this size should never be running. It's the fastest way to travel here, this ain't denied. Hey, whoa, whoa. Why the paper you have? Hello, Here's Mr. Paper. Hey, yeah. Momentarily. Right now, Mr. For a clean slate. Yeah. There's I'm a face that's it. familiar. <laughs> Hello, 
Fuck. Uh, Valentine. Good lord, that's a lot of money. Every once, I have a pellet stove. Every once in a while, I got to throw some pellets in there. They burn it in the morning. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, well, I'm still on the train. <laughs> Alright, Orsi. I didn't know you'd take off like that. Got my horse survivor right there. I gotta get another one. What are you doing? Right, where's this guy at? I'm not, I don't know where he is really. I'm getting a lot for this. I'll be a stagecoach, take it and have it sell it. No. Honey out. I just shot my firearm in the city limits. Got a warrant for it. I just paid my family off. Hopefully, dude didn't recognize me. Don't know who I am. Wait. So, right now. Throw your recent crime. I gotta go back there and pay off my fucking bounty that I just acquired. Well, at least this time I won't fire my weapon. Come on. Yeah. What the? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, about that, guys.
you would give me a minute, please. Oh, no. Happy to help you start over. I am a bounty. Well, how can I be of service? I guess I'll go back out there that I'll try camping and uh, see the guy again or something. That's weird. I didn't think I picked up a bounty on that. I mean, they called the police. I got away clean. They don't know who did it. They ain't even bothered to chase me that far. I see he's lit up again. I don't know. Maybe I just had to wait for it to get it and load and all that good stuff. I don't know. Camp does its own thing sometimes. Kane. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the car. One way or another, this is gonna go bad, and it's gonna go bad bad. I tried to come through earlier, hit a series of steel. Yeah, it is. I had to steal that oil wagon. Is that you, out? I couldn't do it. Hey, Tom. Pick it up. Yep. I'm supposed to meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then.
way too easy. That statement I made earlier about, yeah, the shit's gonna jump off. Get her. Okay, it's got that jump off feeling. Friend, this won't take long. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file from head office. You're not from head office? seem important right now? No. Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti? I... I... Danbury. Think, man. The mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over <laughs> such a nice I... floor as this. It's here! It's here! Done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. You're dead! I was literally trying to shoot was my way out, but some of that didn't seem to get a run. So you met Mr. Danbury? <laughs> yeah, don't worry, he was very obliged. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. 
Thank you. You say my right. life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be, but it was a lot. I see how it was supposed to be harder than what I made it. That I could have ran and ducked and dodged behind everything and tried to shoot my way out, and I think it would have caused me to die multiple times before I figured just run. So, yeah, counseling in me, I wanted to shoot my way out, but the gamer in me wanted to continue to play the game and survive. So, running away seemed a whole lot easier. Guys. Now that one guy, I'm a little mad that I missed him. He was so busy shooting at the Native American dude, he didn't even see me until I had already started passing him. Now him, I could have easily have shot and probably not taken two or three extra bullets in the ass on my way out the door. Uh, where's my horse here? Here we go. He the only thing left <laughs> Well, let's save because we haven't saved in a while. Or have any wants and wants. A little hot up here for us, but they'll forget who we are in the end. This guy's freaking bad. This guy. So I'm gonna try this. Uh, yep. Grab him. Now this guy is. I don't know. I went there once before. As a matter of fact, uh, it was last stream, towards the end of last stream. I went up there to see him, and I even marked on the map where a legendary animal was, a moose or something, deer or something, I don't know. And, uh, the moose because it was too busy at that time, and get in the front door where he was, even though I got right up to the house he was in, and uh, so I decided I was going to uh, camp a couple hours and go see him in the morning. And when I did the camp thing, they literally football field and a half away from him. And he wasn't there when I woke up in the morning. Oh. So dead I just don't know because we don't have a cop. been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. I know, but would you mind taking me home? Not sure if my leg will get me there. I wondered if that was coming up or not. Yeah, I'll take you. Come on, girl. You get on the horse now. That's where I am. Please? I'm a freaking Uber. I'd be grateful. You know, Jane. Sure. Be happy to. Really? Thank you so much. Okay, then, girl. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Hey. Yep. Yeah. You're taking me out of the way I want to go. Oh, okay. sure. Well, maybe I can take the stage close to Hanover. Ah. Gotta get me closer to this guy. Yeah. Oh, I don't normally 
travel this lord. Oh god. Come down we travel this lord. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. Slow down, please. Now, come on. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me. Slow down, please. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Yeah! Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. Slow down, please. Hello. Yeah. Well, I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers I'm like that. I'm around all night and Odd. Just be careful, is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for the horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. We're close now. Just a little further. We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You'll be well. Great. Till I run into people.
Not here in the daytime, maybe it's a nighttime thing. <coughs> and when I got here, and he was here. I don't know why. I don't know why they wouldn't let me in now. Give me the feeling like I gotta hunt down this mythical, this uh, legendary animal, and then I can see this guy. At least the feeling I'm getting. I don't know. I know is I'd like to finish him up before I move on to do the steps mission. And he's the last thing. Yeah. Nowhere on the map. But I would love 
got him? Oh god. I don't know, it looks like we got a letter. He might be one of the things in the storyline to get away. Fighting all the way up here. But, uh, maybe I'll camp one more time. Uh, cause this is now daytime. I really don't know how to find this guy. There was something to read that he had. That's fire. Mind if I warm my bones? <laughs> Y'all knew this was Murphy Hills. You should be careful where you're camping. I can look after myself. Besides, it's a free country. Free country? <laughs> no. Everything bought and paid for. <laughs> and we gonna protect what's ours. Y'all be careful where you wander. Come on, let's go. I think you got the message. Go kill you next time. Mm -hmm. The reason why I don't want to come up here. Yeah, I tried to take the shortcut pass here and fell down the hill. Back now, there's a heavy rainstorm. I'll be tending to you shortly.
to assist you in a moment. It's really close to my dinner time. We ran five minutes over the 90 minute screen. So what we're gonna do is we're going to end it here. And when I catch up with y'all again, we will already be in the nice looking for that. And we'll just run that uh, next screen. To, uh, it'll be the end of chapter four all the way to chapter five. So thank y'all very much for tuning in. Have a wonderful evening. And we will see y'all at a later date. Peace.